So if you are interested in joining the Dream SMP, there are a few things you will need to know to actually be invited into the server. I've tried to find as much info as I can about actually joining the Dream SMP. Legit. And who knows, maybe someday you can join. Anyhow, so here's how you can join the Dream SMP. Also, if you find this video helpful, then please consider subscribing. It's free, takes two clicks, and you can always change your mind. The first thing is to not actually ask for him to add you to the Dream SMP. Now, I know that may sound obvious, but really, it's a pretty common thing that people do. So essentially, the first reason is because it annoys him, and number two is because it probably won't help your case, as he said himself that it is more likely that you'll join if you don't actually ask him. Here's the clip. I'm telling you that most people that have gotten into the SMP didn't ask, or they never like seriously asked. Like Rambo, I mean, he didn't, he never DM'd me asking me to join the SMP or anything. Like I just DM'd him and said, hey, Here's the IP, join. Same with Foolish and other people. Um, like Rambu did like a stream, <laughs> no askers. But like if the, if you don't ask, you're more likely to get in. Like almost everybody that got in either got in by by me just messaging them and letting them in, or by someone else asking if they would be able to, if they would be able to get in, and then me going, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So generally, if you're talented, you'll be noticed. Yeah, Tommy did ask, but the thing is, Tommy asked and then to get into the SMP, and then I said no. And then later, randomly, I added him when he didn't ask. <laughs> so I'd say even he technically qualifies as he didn't ask. Dream also says that you probably need to have some sort of talent, but how? He says that you should be skilled in something, whether it be just as a content creator in general, or be skilled in some part of Minecraft. Here's Dream's explanation of the guidelines for joining and being talented some new people will join i think it'll kind of be the same as it has been like you know now and then like one to three people are added every every few months or something it's kind of in the general general plan and i think it'll stick to that so i mean there's like but then there probably won't already be a plan to adding people right you just kind of do it when you feel like someone is um well generally i should be well usually on. if i if i yeah if i if i have an eye for somebody and i go oh this person's really talented and this person this person should be on the smp i'll usually wait and whenever whenever like a storyline's kind of over and there's new storylines starting that's usually or like the final day of a storyline or something that's usually when i would add people yeah there's no real there's no real like exact time something that since the beginning has been like my goal with the smp is is kind of creating a, a breeding ground for like super insanely talented people that i know aren't talented and and that's and people always ask me like what's your guideline for for whitelist people my guideline for whitelist pe whitelisting people is they have to be super freaking talented if they're super freaking talented i want them on the smp i think that's something that and i do it in waves as well because I, I think i want it to be like i don't want it to be overwhelming i don't want too many people on at once and there's, there's different guidelines but yes you're talented, H bomb, which is why you're on the SMP. I'm I think talented. People, very talented. Very At talented. what? As a streamer, as a, yeah. streamer, as a content creator. Yeah. I think that's something that that that's that's gen that's genuinely, genuinely, 100, like the only the only true guideline to, to being whitelisted is um is is just like talented. That's why I think everyone on the SMP is just so talented. Like in terms of whether whether it be like acting or comedy, like everyone has their different niche that they're good at, but everyone's talented. Like everyone's very talented and in, in their own way. And I feel like adding the different people you add are added just based on, um, you know, kind of filling those different niches and stuff. And I feel like that, you know, cause if you're talented, you have a much higher chance of growing and, and, you know, growing as a streamer and taking advantage of like the opportunity, like, Hey, you know, if you join the dream SMP, most likely you're going to go up in viewers when you're streaming on it, True. just because there's a huge fan base around it. So I want, you know, I want to make sure it's somebody that's going to take advantage of that and know, Hey, you know, shamelessly take advantage of that and go, Hey, I'm going to take it. I'm going to stream this every day or whatever. I'm going to do, I'm going to do whatever I can to, to use this to catapult, you know, my, my stuff and my other content creation. That's not the dream SMP. Like, mm -hmm people like tubbo and stuff that you know do other streams and, and you know stream mcc and make youtube videos and whatever else but what if you aren't really skilled in anything well then the best course of action is to start now and get skilled in something whether it be pvp modding or just having an entertaining personality green said himself that just having a talent is the only true guideline to getting invited into the dream smp and yeah those are my thoughts on what you can do to join the dream smp thank you for watching and goodbye